They say that age is just a number, and nobody knows it better than these celebrity couples. Want to know which rock icon has a 40-year age gap with his partner? Keep watching to find out. Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones's 25-year age gap was the talk of the town when the actors began dating in the late 90s. However, the two stars soon proved that their romance was real when they tied the knot in November 2000, welcoming two children soon after. And although the couple briefly split in 2013, it didn't last long. In 2001, Zeta-Jones told Larry King why choosing to be with a man a quarter century older bothered neither her nor her loved ones. She said, When my mother was telling me about men and telling me the facts of life, she never actually put an age bracket on it. And it's so funny because Michael and my parents are the same age. So my parents, when they see us together, they never question that there was a 25-year age difference. Talking about her long-lasting marriage to Douglas, Zeta-Jones told WSJ Magazine in 2021 that while their large age gap is not a secret to anyone, the constant in their relationship is love and respect. The star added, We've never, ever lost our sense of humor, and we enjoy each other's company. We respect each other's space, and our humor is just long-lasting. A 39-year age gap didn't deter Aerosmith's Steven Tyler and Amy Preston from taking their relationship to the next level. Tyler and Preston became exclusive in 2016 after she had worked for the rock star as a personal assistant, and they're still going strong to this day. Before Preston found herself working for the lead singer, she worked as a personal assistant with the Trump Organization and later moved on to working as Victoria Beckham's assistant. Now that their relationship is public, she and Tyler have walked several red carpets together, even attending events with his adult children. In 2018, Tyler and Preston attended the frontman's inaugural Janie's Fund Gala and Grammy viewing party with his daughter Chelsea and her husband John Foster. In 2019, the Lovebirds made an appearance at Liv Tyler's movie premiere for Ad Astra. For his part, Tyler has never hid his affection for Preston. In 2020, he shared a touching birthday post to his girlfriend on Instagram with a photo of the two sharing a laugh alongside a caption that read, the only way out is through. I love you for being by my side all this time. Such a crazy ride. Through thick and thin. It seems there's no age limit on love when it comes to comedian Dane Cook and his partner Kelsey Taylor, who have a 26-year age gap between them. While the pair have been going strong since 2017, Cook has had to constantly defend his relationship with his much younger girlfriend. Cook first introduced fans to Taylor on his Instagram, where he shared a photo of her and told his followers to check out her music. Since then, both Cook and Taylor have posted countless photos on social media, including going to baseball games and celebrating the holidays together. In one post, Taylor wrote, This definitely sums up our relationship. Lots of laughs, plus lots of love. The stand-up comic did address the age gap between himself and Taylor during an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live in 2019. I'm 46, she's 20, and here's the thing. I love her, she's the kindest, sweetest, just my favorite, my best friend. And sometimes I actually find myself saying like, where has she been all my life? Mel Gibson and his girlfriend Rosalind Ross have been going strong since 2014. However, he has frequently had to defend his relationship with Ross, who is 35 years his junior, to the press. Speaking to The Mirror, Gibson stated, Regarding age and relationships, it's just a number. We dig each other. She is an adult, and we dig each other. Admitting that it's natural to have a little trepidation about an age gap like this, he added, It's working out great. She is a really special person. I dig her. So there you go. That's it. What more can one ask? Gibson and Ross solidified their relationship when they welcomed a son named Lars in 2017. He is the actor's ninth child after having seven children with his ex-wife, Robin Moore, and a daughter with ex-girlfriend, Oksana Grigoriva. Sir Patrick Stewart once jokingly admitted that his wife, Sonny Ozell's father, is comfortable calling the Star Trek actor his son, even though Stewart is five years older than him. The couple has a whopping 39-year age gap, but that doesn't bother them one bit. Speaking to the Daily Mail, Ozell opened up about meeting Stewart's children from his previous marriage to Sheila Falconer, who are both older than the singer-songwriter. She explained, That was the territory I trod on very lightly. I didn't want to force myself on them, but they were very welcoming. 
The legendary actor's wife doesn't believe their large age gap matters either, saying, He's so youthful, and I guess I'm kind of an old worrywart, so we bridged the gap. It doesn't come up much. He's in better shape than me, which infuriates me. During a joint interview on The Graham Norton Show, the couple shared how they were keeping busy and staying sane while quarantining together during the coronavirus pandemic in 2020. We're, we're wonderful. We're super fortunate. And he's doing his puzzles and I'm doing a lot of cooking and we're reading and we're catching up on television. Rolling Stone singer Mick Jagger has been linked to many women over the years, with his most profound relationships being with such celebrities as Marianne Faithful, Marsha Hunt, and Jerry Hall. It's even written in the rock star's biography, Mick, that Jagger has had as many as 4,000 sexual encounters with women over the course of his life. However, Jagger seemed to have settled down in 2014, when it was reported that he was in a relationship with ballet dancer Melanie Hamrick. When the two began dating, the singer was 71 years old, while Hamrick was 27. The couple's age gap of over 40 years didn't seem to play a factor in their blossoming romance, however, as they welcomed a son named Devereaux Octavian Basil Jagger in December 2016. That makes baby number eight for the iconic musician. While these two have been relatively private about their romance, Hamrick does occasionally post photos of their little boy on Instagram. In December 2021, for example, she shared two pics of Devereaux celebrating his fifth birthday. Her social media photos alongside Jagger may be slim, but the dancer did post a touching snapshot of the pair embracing their son in July 2021, which she sweetly captioned alongside a heart emoji, feeling all the love today. David Hasselhoff once had some reservations before getting serious with his now-wife, model Haley Roberts, because of their 28-year age difference. Ultimately, however, 2018 saw the two wed in an intimate ceremony in Italy. Hasselhoff shed more light on why he previously contemplated letting Roberts go, telling a British tabloid, "...to be honest, the reason I haven't got married yet is because I know it's not going to be a perfect relationship. We're not going to grow old together. Let's face it." However, the same year they got married, Hasselhoff revealed why he didn't let their nearly three-decade age difference get in the way, telling Metro, "...we've been together for about seven years and we've had such a great time. I realized how much I love Haley and how much we've become part of each other's life." The couple's wedding made the front page of OK Magazine, in which Hasselhoff shared that his two daughters from a previous relationship, Taylor and Haley, were accepting of their marriage. He said, "...they know Haley and they know she makes me happy, and they know that I need her as much as she needs me. I actually need her more. All they want is for me to be happy. I'm blessed." Florence Pugh was recently forced to defend her relationship with Zach Braff after online trolls criticized the couple's 21-year age difference. In April 2020, the star shared a 45th birthday tribute for her boyfriend on Instagram, but her comments section was anything but sweet, leading Pugh to return to Instagram to share a video about bullying a few days later. She explained that she had disabled the comments section on the specific post after about 70% of the comments turned out to be abusive. The actor believed she also had to stick up for her relationship with Braff. I am 24 years old. I do not need you to tell me who I should and should not love. In July 2021, Pew yet again spoke out about the criticisms she's received over their romance. Telling The Times, I think it bugs people that it's not who they expected. But it's my life, and I'm not doing anything to please people or to make it a better headline or story. I want to also be a person." Despite all the negative attention their relationship has attracted, Pugh and Braff have continued to show support for each other via social media. In July 2021, for example, Braff shared a drawing of Pugh in her Black Widow role and urged fans to watch the film, while Pugh cheered on his Emmy nomination for directing Ted Lasso during a post on Instagram stories. Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson were first romantically linked when the reality star hosted Saturday Night Live in 2021, on which the pair shared a kiss after they performed an Aladdin skit. Soon after, rumors spread that the two stars, who have a 13-year age gap between them, were an item. One of their first public outings came a couple weeks later, when they enjoyed a day at an amusement park with Kourtney Kardashian and her boyfriend. However, People magazine confirmed that they were just friends at the time. The next month, the pair were spotted holding hands near Kris Jenner's house, which appeared to confirm their relationship. 
Since then, Kardashian has been seen visiting Davidson's hometown in Staten Island, New York, where they enjoyed a movie night in December. They were later spotted dining at a nearby restaurant with Scott Disick. The owner even shared a selfie with the stars on Instagram. To further fuel their romance status, Kardashian did playfully admit that Davidson was her favorite SNL cast member when she appeared on the podcast Honestly with Barry Weiss. Meanwhile, Kardashian has moved forward with her divorce from Kanye West after almost seven years of marriage. As for Davidson's past relationships, he's been linked to the likes of Kate Beckinsale and famously shared a whirlwind engagement with Ariana Grande. Lorenzo Lamas has had five short-lived marriages throughout his life, but his engagement to Kenna Nicole Smith seems to prove that he isn't giving up on love. The actor proposed to Smith, who's 27 years his junior, in Las Vegas in February 2021, and his heartfelt message on Instagram suggested that his latest relationship is the real deal. Utilizing the how it started and how it's going meme structure, Lamish shared side-by-side -side photos of the couple enjoying a drink together and then lying in bed as Smith showed off her huge engagement ring. His caption read in part, Since our first embrace, she's held me captive. She fills my heart with feelings I've never felt, dreams I've never had, and wishes I've never thought of. According to People magazine, they only dated for 10 months before Lamas popped the question. The actor also changed his Facebook status to engaged and wrote, It is a love like no other, and we look forward to the day we become husband and wife. Sometimes, love waits for the stars to align and two soul paths to intersect. We are ecstatic. Showing just how much Lamas and Smith were in love, the couple also got matching tattoos after celebrating their engagement. A photo on his Instagram features the duo showing off their finger tattoos, with the actor having KL tattooed with a heart, while Smith tattooed the initials LL with a heart on her finger. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.